You brought up the Machida fight earlier. Yeah. What do you remember from that fight? Uh, well, I I, uh, I remember the feeling that happened right before I got knocked out, right? Because he came out and, and he did, uh, you know, he kind of won the first round. And again, I'm fighting from behind, right? The first round he comes out, he throws a super hard kick, right? Super hard kick. And it wasn't really even to, like, land – it was just let me know like that's what he's working with, right? Mm. So immediately that puts me on high alert and it makes me feel like I need to be more offensive. So right now he's already got me in a pocket, right? And then off of me being over aggressive, he was able to counter me, take me down. So then the next round, I'm like, yo, this dude is playing pity pad. I gotta go in there and I gotta just I gotta just catch him, right? So I rush in and then he catches me with that straight left, and next thing you know, I'm on ice. And then I'm, and I never really been hurt, hurt like bad in a fight before. At the time, I was undefeated, nineteen and zero, um, and I go down, and I'm like, "Yo, I just got hurt," and I'm like, "I'm all right," but I come up, and my faculties are still there, but my legs are gone. Mm. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. I'm stomping them. I can't feel my legs. My ankles are buckling. So eventually, I find myself against the cage. And then he's just raining punishment on me, coming, landing punches on me. But I'm in that phasey, foggy period where, strangely enough, I can't feel his punches because I'm like halfway out my body at this point. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> yeah. almost in the ghost realm. And uh, <laughs> and and at the point, I'm just like, yo, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give it how how I'm I'm gonna get it how I gave it right. So I'm just like, yo, you know what? I started talking trash like, oh, you hit like a, hit like a bitch, you know. I'm I'm talking like just you can't phase me. You say like you you your hands are like pillows. Yeah, I'm just like saying all this like you can't hit, and I'm just like I'm trying to bob and weave, but my my movement is truculent, you know. I can't move like I think I'm moving in my mind. Yeah. And then he and then he catches me with the punch, and I remember feeling like I'm stuck, and all of a sudden I fall, and then I go out for a second, and then I come back to. And then I see the doctors rushing into the cage, and I'm like, "Damn!" So you were only out for a few seconds. It felt like a few. It's like seconds. I talked to Ben Askren after that big knee from Osvaldo, and yeah. he's like, "Oh yeah, I woke up and I was in the hospital." Like that was the next thing he remembered. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. I, I was out for a few seconds, like a few seconds, but it was a it was a good knockout. Like I remember um, after it happened, you know, because you have like almost like an echo, right? You're just kind of like, "Damn, did that really just happen?" Mm. did that really just happen like did did i fight he like yeah you fought you lost and i'm just like oh, wow <laughs> i feel like i didn't even fight you know they did you dirty with those memes oh my gosh they would... killed me with the memes but you know what man it, it's it, it it's it's what it is you know what i'm saying that's just that's part of it that's yeah. part that's part of the game and that's part of what you subject yourself to and for the longest longest time i will for, for a time afterward, I did have a problem. Like, I used to be upset about it. Some wise guy thought it'd be a good idea, right? Everybody's got jokes. I'm doing an autograph signing, and then he brings that picture for me to sign. Damn. Cold-blooded, bro. Did Cold. you sign it? Hell no, I didn't <laughs> sign it, man. I, I can't sign it. It was too fresh. It was too yeah. fresh. Wow. But he it, probably thought that was hilarious. Oh, he, he was a, oh yeah, he had his friends recording it and everything. Look at him. Look at him. You know, he's all laughing, but... You know, it, it's part of the game, and um, you know that that's one thing. As being in the entertainment industry, you understand that you know people will hate you and draw strong conclusions about who you are based off of what they see mm. on the TV. But that's not necessarily who you are, mm. right? And you have to be able to divorce yourself from that interpretation of who they think that you may be, right? So there's Sugar Rashad Evans. And then there's me. Yeah.